of all the interesting projects that we could take in simulation, animation, all that stuff, we took the most boring one, so we tried to make it fun. And incidentally, we had cats in the blast simulation, so we'll have more dogs here, or puppies. Um, we have Nick, Bali, Zach, myself, Nancy, and um, uh, David. So next slide. All right, the first problem was when we looked in the data, digital universe data set, we have absolutely no idea what we are doing, right? Yeah, that was one of them. And there were no APIs whatsoever or a developer-friendly way to access these data. Guys, if you want developers to use your data, make it easy for them to use, right? So we thought we'll build a REST API for the digital universe data set. Uh, it's working, so I'm just going to have screenshots taken out for that API and then uh, just show how the API works. The goals were have an extremely simple REST API that you could use whatever language you want to use. It should be fast and efficient so that it could handle the huge data set it was and have some fancy features like advanced filtering and searching. Uh, we use Rails, Elasticsearch, um, Heroku, PostgreSQL, and custom uh, Unicorn uh, art modes. Um, so stars is the biggest collection, so we just hit API v1 stars, it gives out all the 100,000 stars in the data set, but it's paginated, so the, it, it has 1,000 stars in a page, and you can specify which page you want to go to, but the really, uh, or, or you could even visit a single star by specifying which star you want to see by its label. Um, the really funky part is you can do filters like max of loom is equal to 0.3, which means it's going to return all the stars whose luminosity is lesser than or equal to 0 0.3. 0 .3. And you could do range queries like this when min and max is present, so you can have all the stars which falls between certain limits. And the second query you have is all the blue stars. Uh, we also have other data sets like exoplanets, constellation, local groups, open cluster, which has all the similar properties that stars had. Next one. Uh, the search is a little uh, different in the sense that it looks at all, it search all the labels. So if you search for Q's got HD, it returns stars, exoplanets, constellations, which match the term HD in the label or their name. Uh, so here we're just seeing HD returning three different exoplanets with, uh, uh, with the Q, Q's HD, right? Um, what we could build ahead is have, uh, try to have stars in a given region, given X, Y, Z and a radius, tries to give all the stars in a sphere, try to get make sense of too much data and then try to get all the satellite uh, uh, revolving around the Earth using the NORAD data. So, yeah, next. That's how we felt after the API was done. Thank you.